Okay, today we're going to talk about looking for Jesus. And we're going to start in Luke chapter 2. Yep, we're starting with the shepherds. And you know what? The shepherds were such simple people. They're out in the middle of the field. They're watching their sheep. Like that's their whole livelihood, those sheep. That represented everything they had. In the middle of that, we know the angel came, right? And said, behold, in the city of David is born this day a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. So what happened there? They allowed God to interrupt their daily routine. They left everything. They didn't have a big meeting. There was no sign of hesitation. They weren't like, what if someone steals our sheep? We won't have anything left. None of that happened. They just immediately in unison said, let's go and see this thing that the Lord has told us, that the angel said. And of course we know they hurried off and they got to Bethlehem and they found Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. And if you think about that, it doesn't say that they knew anything about what an angel was, okay? Like we know about angels because we have the Bible, but they didn't. And so they've seen an angel for the first time. They have no rational explanation for what just happened. What did we just see? Have we lost our minds? Yet they trusted that and they followed the Lord and they went and they saw baby Jesus. And when they saw him, it says, they praised the Lord and they made him widely known. Everywhere they went, they couldn't stop talking about Jesus. And, you know, of course, it said Mary pondered all these things in her heart. But you know what? When the shepherds returned, it says they returned back to their sheep, back to their home, which means they had left everything. They didn't like say, okay, let's take all our sheep. We'll just move slowly in that direction. No, they left it all. So you know what? I wonder, do we allow God to interrupt our lives? Are we so busy with our plans and our schedules that we can't be interrupted by God? And does his interruption, like the shepherds, bring change? Because we see the shepherds, they were totally transformed. It says they were glorifying God and praising him. So my question to you is, when you encounter Jesus, is your life being changed? Because it says theirs was automatically transformed into praising and glorifying God. So can we say the same about us? So as we head into the Christmas season, going the second mile, let God interrupt your day and let him speak to you and expect him to encounter you and let that transform who you are.